In this lecture, let's have a brief look at how we can provide services when we are using standalone component approach. We already know in which places we can provide a service in a standard Angular application. But since we are learning about standalone components, let's also learn in which places we can provide services in an Angular application with standalone components. So in this Angular application, we have one service. So if I go to this app folder, there we have this shared folder. And in that shared folder, we have this action service. And currently, in order to provide this service, we are passing this provided in property to this at injectable decorator and we are setting it to root. This simply means that this service will be provided from root. That means the same instance of this action service, it will be injected in all components and all directives. Right. This we already know from our previous lectures when we learned about services. Now we can also provide a service on a component level. That also we have learned in the services lecture. So here, instead of providing this service here by specifying this provided in property, let's remove it from here. And now if I go to our application, you will see that we have an error. So let's open developer console here. Let's go to console tab. And there you will see that we have an error. Okay. Now, why do we have this error? Because now, as you can see, the error message says, no provider for action service. So here we have created this action service, but this service is not being provided from anywhere because we have also removed the provided in property from this at injectable decorator. So now what we are going to do is we are going to provide this service on a component level. And for that, I'm going to provide this service on app component. So to provide a service on a component level, to this metadata object, which we are passing to this at component decorator, we can specify providers array. And there we can provide our action service. Okay, so now what will happen is whenever an instance of this action service will be injected inside this app component, the same instance will be received by its child component and all their child components unless we override it by providing it in some child component. This also we have learned in our services section. So now if we go to the application, everything should be now working as expected. Okay, and there is no error. So we can also provide a service on a component level. Now for this app component, this home component is its child component. So this home component will receive the same instance of this action service which this app component is receiving. And then for this home component, this detail component is its child component. So this detail component, it will also receive the same instance which its parent component is receiving. So in the app component and home component and detail component, in all these three components, we will receive the same instance of action service. But if I override it by providing a service, let's say on the home component, so let's go to home component.ts and they also let's go ahead and let's use the providers array and let's provide action service. So now what will happen is app component will receive an instance of action service. But since we have overridden it using this providers array by specifying this providers array in the home component, this home component is going to receive a different instance difference instance than what app component has received but its child component that means this detail component it is going to receive the same instance which this home component will receive because in the details component we are not overriding it there we are not providing this action service so it is going to receive the instance from its parent component okay so in this way we can also provide a service on a component level and when we provide a service on a component level, that component, its child component and their child components will receive the same instance of the service unless we override it by providing that service in one of the child components. So let's remove these two lines from here. Okay. Let's save this home component. 
and from the app component also let's say i want to remove this providers array now when we use standard angular application there we were also able to provide a service from module level and when we provide a service in the providers array of a module class the same instance of that service will be received by all components and all directives but since in a standalone component we do not have any ng module we cannot provide a service from a module level right so we have two approaches either we can use the provided in property on the service so let me open this action service so either we can use the provided in property here in the metadata object of this at injectable decorator or what we can do is here in the main.ts file when we are bootstrapping this app component as the root component using this bootstrap application function there we can also pass a second argument and that second argument should be an object and from there we can specify the providers array and from there we can provide this action service okay and this is equivalent to providing a service from the providers array of an ng module so in this case also the same instance of this action service will be injected in all components and all directives in the standalone angular application so with this if we save the changes and if we go to our application you see the application is still working let me also refresh it so the application is still working we don't have any error but now we are providing this service using this bootstrap application function and when we are providing the service like this in that case the same instance of that service will be available throughout the angular application all right so these are the three places from where we can provide a service in a standalone component we can use provided in property of at injectable decorator and we can provide it from root or we can provide a service on a component level or we can provide a service on a global level using this extra argument which we can pass to this bootstrap application function this is all from this lecture if you have any questions then feel free to ask it thank you for listening and have a great day